Well, the webinar is focused on helping organizational development professionals and HR professionals and anyone really in that field understand what they can do right after a restructure or even when they're in the middle of a restructure to prepare leaders and anyone who works in the new environment what needs to happen how do they need to work together so we're going to provide them with four key tips that they can look at starting to implement right after a restructure um, you know i've seen working with organizations across the world there's some real common problems that happen right so basically i see them where people are completely confused about who do I need to work with? Who do I take direction from, right? That's a problem that team members have. Another thing that they face is, okay, I'm getting direction from two different leaders. Whose priorities do I actually follow in terms of getting things done? Some other challenges is that it can create chaos and a lot of anxiety in leadership. So leaders that have, for their careers, looked at how do they move up the org chart, how do they get to a higher level? And that level always included resources. Well, when they restructure and they lose resources, it creates anxiety and chaos in the fact that they don't feel like they're a leader anymore. So often I find that silos and things that you were looking to overcome with the restructure are actually still there and they just get recreated into new silos and new problems. So it really doesn't solve anything, it just creates more confusion and chaos. Out of my career, I came out of a huge matrix organization and had actually lived through a restructure that didn't work and lived through dual reporting and had that personal experience of having to figure out how to work with two bosses, how to work with a direct line supervisor as well as a matrix leader, and it was a disaster. So I thought there had to be some other reason. So learning over the last decade um, from Paula and building the body of knowledge and really talking to leaders and applying things there, it's allowed me to really gain the knowledge that I needed to know about this methodology and approach.